All right. Uh, we've got... What have we got? Various things. We've got some karma. That's a lot of blood. We've got blood. We've got blood everywhere. I suppose that's more important than experience points. Nah, it's not more important than experience points. We've got Raymond. He's uh, alive. Partially mentally intact. We've got Yama Kings coming. Some guy we could talk to to do quests. Uh, Probably the final quest. It feels like we're... Um... Pretty final questy, yes, yes. We know that there is this terrible machine that has been built in um, Kowloon Wall City. Well, it was actually supposed to be, also Raymond claims, a nice machine. He wanted to make a thing to circulate the key, like some kind of air conditioner, uh, and just kind of make things vaguely, uh, you know, move the fortune around so that things were better for people. But it didn't work out that way. Uh, probably because Josephine never wanted it to work that way. Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't sound very profitable. Yeah, like what we learned last episode was basically that uh, Danny and Duncan's foster father's birth mother essentially tricked him into engineering a fortune extracting machine, which would essentially basically take all the luck of the poorest and most vulnerable people in a dense slum and feed it to her. And it's had consequences. All sorts of consequences. I can't even say it really worked out well, because, like, she's still where she started, right? Like, No, no, she's not. She uh, she rose from that point to, to join the Executive Council. She's one of the rulers right, yeah. of the Free Enterprise Zone. But think of the infrastructure she needed to have. Mm -hmm. Like, she... There must have just been... She could have just killed a counselor, right? Maybe, but, like, um... The job, but, I mean, she's got, the, she's got a lot of money and a lot of yeah. power. Uh, I, yeah, things have... Broadly speaking, worked out for Josephine saying. However, she doesn't seem to have wanted her son to run away. She uh, yeah. wanted him back as an heir or something. I still think the material mm. investment you needed, like the infrastructure, like this is a large project. The, Very large. The. They also skimmed what off what that says of the about money. how big um, Sang Holdings, Sang, whatever her company is called. Like, what that company needed to be before the Luck Project and what it is after the Luck Project. Like, they turned a profit, mm -hmm. but what was the margin? I, it's At the time, they were saying Mechanical Enterprises was small enough that she was, like, in a business deal with Kindly Cheng, who was a mid-level gang boss. Mm -hmm. And then she rapidly rose beyond Kindly. So I feel like as a business deal, this whole thing was at least temporarily good for Josephine. I'm not going to fault her noose here. I'm just saying, it feels like at this point, if if this is the if this is the downside application, if this is the downside guarantee, basically of doing the luck machine stuff. Yes, well, I mean, monsters from beyond are coming through. Antagonists you better have in, in video more games. Than a city councils. Yeah, she probably thought there would not be a downside, or not this kind of downside, or that it would happen to someone else. And to be fair, so far it mostly is happening to other people. So these swords are they actually better than our existing swords? The laser axe might be, I think, was our our thought, it, but like yeah, it's it's very high damage. It's got it doesn't you can't do key um, onslaught attacks with it, but we don't always have the spare AP for those. So maybe we should actually only consider buying these. And I'm not going to click on any of them. The question is, second. is anything better than our machete? And I think the, all, <laughs> five, all three of these are. But I don't well, know yes, yes, probably so. Happens. Replacing that is probably the thing to do. Let's just check out the infinity here. Um, so yeah, we've got three swords. The ha racing fulmination. Oh, we is... have already. All right, we've re we replaced uh, it with the one upgrade from. The we did, yes, yeah. So racing fulmination is is fantastic because you get bonus AP when you kill people with it. It's the primary sword. Um, the hand forged katana is the same thing but without the bonus AP. But yeah, it's one more damage than the machete was, and the emperor's sword, oddly, is usually one less damage than machete and therefore two less than those, but more when you use a special ranged attack. I think. We don't quite fully understand why this thing has the stats it does, but yeah, it's got one good power. Hmm. So I so think it, there's the Chinese War Sword is the next upgrade on the Hand Fortune Katana, right? Is that true? was it an upgrade though? So damage five. I think it's Show six. Me what you've got? Right? Oh yeah, Chinese that, that's more than five. Well, that seems probably like a good use of money, although it's a lot of money. Probably not going to do a lot of other shopping in the game, are we? Well, no, we do have... Didn't we have some key stuff to buy? Like, there was the, the combination... Ah, maybe so. Maybe so. Okay. The bondage, yes, the, the top one. So that would be good. 
simply because we can cast them together. Freeing up a slot isn't actually be useful because we don't have anything else to free Look at that in third it. down. Pain resistance. That seems crazy. <laughs> Uh, requires key casting nine. We did get some points. Wow. Let's see if we can we afford did. it. I don't, I don't think, think we can. I think key casting nine is like forty karma points away from us right now. Possibly. So, yeah, seems good. But martial defense to require key casting ten. I don't think that's even possible to get. We already have quick strike. We already have that. That sucks. Um... Yeah, low damage but slow. No, but not that good. We've got the best ones, um, apart from possibly pain resistance, yeah, and the bonded spell. So let's check out Danny Flash's stats. Since we're likely going to be doing some final mission stuff here. Okay. Spend karma. 12. So, yes, he's only got key casting 7. He could buy 8, but not 9. <laughs> Which yeah, would... 9 would cost a great 18 yeah. karma. 8 um... would allow us to equip the thing we literally already have equipped. We, we don't know what's up with that. You know, the, the internet doesn't know because not enough people played this game, basically. It feels mm. like we're in a position where we need to just backfill basic stats, like body and swing. Mm -hmm. We, uh, if we bought strength, that's all we'd be buying. Damage. We can get two levels of body. And two levels of body mm -hmm. sounds really good. Or two we, levels of body. Yeah, we can't get a level of body and level close combat. That's unfortunate. Um, uh, no, we get a level of. Uh, melee weapons to have a slightly better chance of hitting with. No, it wouldn't have no, a better chance. It increases crit. your. Yes, yes. Mind you, plus crit is not bad to have. No. And it would give us this thrust ability that we could use uh, as a potential alternative to key stuff. I mean, the thing is, it's one point, so if we did put two points in body, that's presumably what the other point goes on. Yeah. So what would two points of body give us? It would give us 20 hit points. Uh, 20 hit points is not a bad deal for... I like hit points. How many has Danny Flash got right now? He's, in, he's got 40. So that so seems that's, good. Yeah, that's a huge increase to our health pool. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yep, unless you want... This is the very last moment to stop me from spending... No, I, I, that was my... It was my suggestion. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to stop me, but you could. Okay. I say we keep we keep the available one just in case we like run into two or three more karma points and throw them on something. Yeah, like on the other, but if we look like we're about to have a fight, we could consider spending it immediately on melee weapons. Because yeah, a bit of extra crit chance and the thrust ability would be better than nothing. Okay, Danny Flash gets swole. Sixty hit points. That genuinely is more than 40 was. I think I think we should talk to Crafty Zoo. Um, yep. She's probably going to tell us, hey, I don't know any more about the Walled City, because um, we already worked it all out. But if she does have anything more to say, this would be the time to say it, right? Also, let's check in on Gaicho, and I don't know. I think we've missed any opportunity for his mission to trigger, but maybe mm, not. No. Yeah, worth checking. Hello, Crafty. Still don't have any yeah. new information. Yeah, we have to wait and see how things shake out. Well, oh, well, they are shaking. And seeing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be waiting. We've already got armor eight armor. We could buy it to lend to someone else, except it's too expensive, basically. I don't know. That might be a better investment than um, better new sword. Yeah, no hmm. yeah. Worth uh, thinking let's keep about. Keep in mind, at least. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. No hard decisions made at this very second. These fetishes are not applicable. We're getting some small benefit from the one we've already got. Um, if we, for some reason, had a, a spare bunch of cash, getting a consumable for Gobbit wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but it, it's not a great buy. Uh, the only thing that would be regrettable is if we had run into a plus one willpower, plus one key casting um, mm -hmm. thing there, and I don't think there was. It was plus one willpower, willpower. plus one spell casting. Spell casting yeah. is useless to us. Yep, I mean, she's, that's the wizard shop, basically. Yep. We uh, decided not to go down the wizard path, after all. Um, the drones guy is just straight up not around. Hope you don't need any uh, drones. Yeah, I think he got out of town. Uh, oh, as good on him. intimating, he might. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a, oh. there is another drones guy the, on uh, our own boot. Is the repair guy complete? No, this is, this is down the street from me, so bring in the... Yeah, yeah. Shop. Let's head to the bolt hole. The safe boat, as opposed to safe house. An amusing linguistic conceit. 
Is anyone still around? No. Well, <laughs> Koshe is, which is a little worrying. Having the the bot without Ractor being there. I think everyone's standing up near um, our father. Yeah. That's actually what's going on. Yes, um, we. it's possible that by taking Gaichu basically as late as we could, we may have missed out on something. Also, I don't think we talked to him every single time we could have, only most of yeah. them. Which is my fault, really. It's not my favourite character. Um, but, uh, mind you, it's also possible that like his team will uh, like ambush us at the worst possible moment in the walled city or something. <laughs> that would be great. I'm just not sure if the scripting language of this game really supports that. <laughs> I'm not really expecting it either, but if it does happen, I would like it. Sort of. Everything is sad and empty. I guess afraid and empty. If people aren't sad per se, they're you know, terrified. Okay, let's check the mission computer in case for some reason someone sent us some money. Zero unread messages. Checking my inbox. Still zero unread messages. Jobs pending. None? Well, well, hang on. Outbound matrix connection not found. Oh, we've been... Alright. <laughs> okay. We've been endgamed. Okay. The BBS? Pay data? No pay data. Thread explosions in Eastern District. What's up with all the explosions? <laughs> See, that's what I'd post online if, uh, if things were exploding around me. Eh. No more posts and thread. Okay. Alright, time to take that long walk. The long walk back to Spider Shen? No, the long. Well, I mean, the, the well, I guess the... it'd be down to crazy, uh, to crafty Sue, but uh, the long walk I meant was the one into the uh, to the Walt City. Yes, and down that yeah, corridor of dreams that people have said they've seen, dreamed about Danny Flash walking down. Hello, give me the tick. I've got no time to waste. I don't know what else we would possibly buy from him. I mean, possibly stuff for a zero gold, but. Again, expensive armor that we probably can't really afford. Programs that we don't want because it's the Matrix. <laughs> so, the Prosperity Tower Matrix stuff was, I would say, more fun than most Matrix stuff in the game, but that's because I had less Simon Says, basically. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be walking into a place where we need to take a zero bell. No. That's my, that is yeah, my we, we early scouting. Spare we may be able to spare her. Um, unless the game simply makes us bring every character. We may be able to... We have enough for two teams? I guess we have enough for two teams if it's mm. three and three, right? It would be funny because um, we would have made her regain her terrible memories of her childhood and keep them around in her head for essentially no reason. But she might prefer that to actually having to go back. Let's see how Ambrose is doing if he's fled. I don't suppose we want to spend our last few thousand on some cyberware. Hey, it's Matthew! Mm-hmm. In fact, it's several people are taking yes, shelter. I mean, he does live in a giant fucking bunker. Yeah. The drone guy and you know, other drone guy know each other. Not too sure. Yeah, reliable Matthew is not doing hot. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, everything else in the world has no. become unreliable. I don't, I don't feel like slapping this guy. He's already got some problems, right? Yeah. Need some, and we don't some... need a drone. <laughs> no. But we've got one. <laughs> Ambrose. Ambrose so, is one thing... I, I completely forget how the spell stock calculation works because we looked it up, like, two <laughs> months yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember it, I think. But does getting a piece of cyberware immediately remove a spell slot, or does it remove a possible oh. capacity for a ah, spell slot? Mm. I don't know. I don't know if we ever found out the answer to that question. Um, because this would seem like a time to add a piece of cyberware. Because even if it removes a mm -hmm. spell slot, we can just drop Counter Strike, 
and By replace the killing thing. hands with them. Yeah. I will quick save and find out. Simply use the power of. In fact, I'll, I'll do a freaking normal save. This is a full size save. Um, I'm going to learn some things about cyber. Okay. I mean, Emperor's. even if it does take away a spell slot, we're fine, right? Unless unless we use so much money, it's not covered, but I believe most of the cyber here is relatively Right, it, it, it could still be that our best use of money is to buy a, another big sword, but yeah, this is, poss this is a real possibility. Um, <laughs> I like uh, this the premise of this, that some guy comes into your shop where you're trying to provide sanctuary to people during this you know, cyber storm, and it's like, immediately put things in my head, robot things because I need to save the world, or the city, or you know, the suburb, or whatever. Get your ass on the table! I wish you could filter this list to things you were actually eligible for. So, the pain editor is feasible, right? That's passive willpower. But it gives you minus one intelligence. I forget what intelligence does. Nothing useful for us. We already have intelligence two. I don't think the difference from intelligence two to one is a spell slot, though. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so, um, that's useful. One it's not really useful thousand. anyway because plus one willpower only modifies chance to hit with key spells, and our chance to hit is already competitive. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not a huge between, deal. If it was different between getting, uh, but even like even going to key casting nine for shave two points of damage, flat damage off. People are doing so much damage now that flat yeah. two damage resist isn't. Com like, it's competitive, no. it's great on the edges especially when your armor is high, but it's not worth you know, moving heaven or earth resource, resource wise right? now the um, the bone lacing on the other hand plus one body and one strength, that could be useful 10 hit that points and useful. one damage That's, I do uh, like the one directly beneath it though yeah, of course it costs one, both of them cost one essence rather than zero um, yeah, hit points and quickness do we care about quickness? I didn't think we did Isn't quick? doesn't quickness modify move? I thought it was your dodge chance that it modified. Oh. The one that modified for moves is um, reflex trigger here. However, it's another thing you gotta. Oh, yeah, that was just straight up plus movement. Getting more and more expensive, mind you. A street soldier playthrough of this game would probably be fun. Although you'd spend a lot of money. I mean, a street soldier gun playthrough probably also means that you can find enough weapons. Because we found a decent mm -hmm. number of weapons, mm. honestly. Yeah, and there's some we even eschewed. Smart link users, tailored pheromones, hydraulic jack. When triggered, adds three movement. Costs zero AP though. I mean, that's that's a, that's, like, that's basically like the um, the Mass Effect uh, enter combat thing for the uh, the assault class or whatever it was called, right? Encephalon. The charge. Wow, this stuff's expensive, but less than a full essence and gives you armor. No, so I guess, bad. yeah, indeed it's not. I mean, but plus one body, plus one strength is just, that seems like the sweet spot. Okay, like, so That is an extremely good... Even though I'm base. not sure this is the right call, we have to save the game. So let's uh, see what happens. Essence Aster 5. Aha, a dialogue. Cyberware causes essence loss. This affects the magic rating of your character. Base number of spell slots is equal to half their magic rounded down. Oh, look at that. Increases all spell cooldowns. Ooh, I don't like that. That's spells. These are not, like, we can't... I think, well, uh, okay, let's, let's buy it and... Wait, no, but be. like, the idea... Did you see the, the thing in there? The thing. Where it said that you can cast it again on cooldown? Yeah, at the cost of hit points. That would be That's... excellent, actually. <laughs> like, I don't, did we have that option before? I'm pretty sure we didn't have that option before. I, it surely it'd only be during the extra cooldown. Yeah. Um. Always. I believe Counter Strike has been removed. I know, not Counter Strike. It was um. Uh, key something because we haven't got the bonded one yet. Uh. So these cooldowns, have they changed? I can't tell. I think they have. I think Strike was cooldown. We didn't have to equip Key Onslaught. Key Onslaught just exists on yeah. so R. Yes, which is weird, but useful. Hmm. Like, we should be able to go to our stash and see what the other Yep. Alright, let's do that. 
I'm... This is an interesting possibility. Yeah, one essence. The thing is, if it bumps up the cooldown of the key focus and key onslaught abilities, that's not so good. But... Then again, we do have multiple swords for a reason. Because the cooldown is per sword. Hmm. Hmm. Are we selling our soul here? I mean, beyond, obviously, literally, yes, but is it uh, metaphorically the case as well? So it's Lightning Strike, which we've lost here, which we certainly do want. Um, but yeah, we could get that back by bonded killing hands and stride. Okay, so this we is one... We still the money for it because that was a relatively cheap... Yeah, so this is Bell, one yeah. one viable option, is that we buy the the lacing, the bone lacing, and then visiting Shen. We keep our existing swords, not rather than getting the best swords. I and still don't really see the upgrade potential on those swords. It was like right. one damage on one of them, basically. Yeah. So it wasn't normal. Well, okay, one and of them we was got, in, we got the other option. That, yeah. So the Chinese war sword is... Um, like our uh, Handforged Katana, but one damage better. So, so that's an upgrade. It's not a big upgrade, but it is an upgrade, fairly straightforwardly. Um, the Ari's Mono Sword, on the other hand, I don't understand. It seems like it's just just as expensive. Yeah, it but seems not like as good. all of it's. It probably has something going on with it um, that it just doesn't tell us about. I will Google probably it and so. see if there is anything going on there. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Centurion Laser Axe is even higher base damage, but you cannot use the key abilities with it. It's not a sword. So that's not really a great option. So basically, yeah, it's uh, the war sword that we'd be getting. Okay, so here's killing hands and stride. And we will now de-equip stride and killing hands. Equip bonded killing hands and stride and lightning strike and swap some things around into cooler slots. Mana fierce lightning strike. Apparently, uh, I guess the Ares Monosword is just a trap option. What, really? <laughs> you, yeah. you Googled it and it's just yeah, there in case Steam, you want to pay more money for a worse Steam, weapon. Steam discussion is saying. Much like key casting 8. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I don't Fair think enough, that's good. I guess. Jesus. Okay. Um, so it looks okay so far. And we do have... Uh, also, this would give us the ability to sell Stride and Killing Hands for some more money back. Is that enough to get a uh, an armor 8? No, those cost uh, 2800. Uh, and then it gives us 2000. So it goes. Well, I mean, it, it, this is not the only kind of shifting money around thing we could do. We could, for example, we could say we were not going to take Wild One with us um, and sell that for quite a lot of money. Sandblaster's been useful, but like yeah. even selling those Wild One not so much. Better. We'd have to sell the grenades as well. Yeah, um, it's interesting though. Like we could have afforded more. Well, in fact, we still could. Uh, we've got spare cash with this this build, um, and there was an essence zero cyberware thing, which does give plus one willpower, which is plus chance to hit. We want to save again just in case the rounding does come out in our favor and we lose another. Yeah, off. essence five, magic five before any. Squir I and, and assume it's going to round down. Like, yeah, now let's just check on... It seems like the kind of game that where it rounds down. Intelligence is... Okay, yes, completely useless outside the Matrix. Like, it literally doesn't do anything whatsoever. You can just become dumber, and that's fine. Whereas willpower... Increases the chance to hit with key casting attacks, and boosts resistance against certain magical attacks. So trading intelligence for willpower is good. Not very good, but good. That's my feeling. Can't believe we're polluting our principles by getting two cyberwares merely because it's a, a terrible disaster situation. We need every edge we can get. Well, again, this might actually just completely fuck our build by costing us a spell slot. Yeah, could do. Well, hang on, though. We... Uh, uh, oh, you mean this extra one? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So that would be plus one. Oh, it's just. I thought it was a point. All right, if it's literally just essence cost. Yeah, yeah, zero. It's pretty cheap. I don't think there's any other essence zeros. 
Oh, there is. It's tailored pheromones. Plus one charisma. Hello. Do we really need that at this point? We have really high charisma. We have not, like, we just walked through a section where it was bam, mm. bam, 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 bam. But if we're going to talk to Yama Kings, we already, like, two of if, all, Yeah. If the Yama Kings are these right. rule-based things who we to trick into... Do you want to talk the Yama Kings out of it, or do you want I, to fucking kill I them? I want to talk them into revealing what their rules are so we can exploit those rules. I'm this thinking... This is an extremely off-main use case that you're going for. Here. I mean, the thing is that willpower is not very useful. It's, like, very slightly good. Whereas charisma has some chance, because, like, we were at the, the level, like, we were passing some checks in the last mission, which required as much charisma as we had. I don't, what's our charisma, eight? I think so. I believe you only hit charisma seven last mission, but, I mean, you're right. It could be a charisma nine check. Yeah, there might not be, but uh, the the cost here is, the opportunity cost is low, because there's nothing else we can afford. Um, yeah, we've fair. got charisma eight. It's interesting because, like, now this is making me want to. Uh, no, it's not making me want to. There's nothing actually. That's fine. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yes. It's all, it's all good. I don't think. I do want to know whether we could have got Charisma Nine from Cyberware and then bought Ten instead of Extra Body for a new etiquette. I do not believe there is any etiquette that is going to be useful to us once we walk okay. into that district. That Probably not. Um, in terms of a raw power play thing, like we're functional willpower nine, we might as well get functional charisma nine. In terms of okay. Stuff. Please give me the the pheromones. It's a important, urgent. I know there's a terrible storm on, but I need to become better at like Pops picking up, up women. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they can be tailored. Yeah, possibly they make you better at picking up men. Install cyberware. Yeah, and I guess we'll find out how the cooldown thing works live. Thanks, Ambrose. Right. Pit stop super knucklehead. All right, let's check on magic and essence. Still five of each. Excellent. Zero does really appear to mean zero. Well, those are some good, um, yeah, pretty high uh, numbers. Yeah. Nine, 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 seven, and uh, the ones we care about. Uh, we have increased our hit points almost two hundred percent. One. Yeah, with seven I close combat and key casting, we've increased it by one hundred percent, almost one hundred percent of our previous amount, mm -hmm. which is. It's a pretty focused ass build that we got here. So you get slightly less focused with that final point expenditure. Uh, well, I, if we did get one more karma in Kowloon, is there anything would that let us do anything other than buy a point in Because I, I value um, more dodge over. Mm. Yeah. I think that's just slightly better than plus crit. Like, this build is not built around crit, it doesn't need no. crit. It's. All right, well, I won't spend that camera unless it becomes clear that we're going to get into fights, then. Bear in mind, we do still crit relatively often. It is useful. I mean, it's not it's not built around it, but it's, it's good to have. So, um, I don't... We have 45 new yen left over. I don't think we can afford a shotgun. No, I don't think so. Uh, but we have a shotgun. Like, my shotgun desires... <laughs> That's right. We do have multiple shotguns, actually, but only one that's any good. Uh... Hmm. Well, Raymond's... Uh, oh, right, yes, here's the team. I wonder we couldn't find them earlier. Literally, they're all just hanging out here. Should I spoke to Raymond some more? See if he knows... If he'll tell us how to stop the machine? We know that he knows how to stop the machine. Ah, right. That's still, uh... Still having awkward feelings with Duncan here. Do you want to talk about his mother? Does he want to talk about well, his mother? Well, I'm amenable to that option because we're not calling her grandma for some stupid fucking reason. <laughs> yeah, it's an opportunity to make it clear that she's his mother and not our grandmother. I assume you think she is a... <laughs> yes! Yeah. I do. <laughs> it's just a point that someone is... 
and yet everything to, that doesn't yeah, make you, you less played, reprehensible. Man. You got played. <laughs> yeah. By your mother. It's very sport. Like it, it's. It's understandable that you got played because she was your mother, but, like, you still got played. As he points out, she's good at using people to achieve her own ends. That doesn't make her not bad. Stop calling her that. Duncan, no, I am interested in her because she's probably going to try and stop us from doing this thing. Uh, whatever. Okay, I guess he's seized control of the conversation. The guy I thought was my... Okay, what does that even mean, right? Like, it's not like he literally thought it was his biological father. Yeah, no, it's... Like, um, he, like he thought that Raymond took us in and raised us, which is still true. Yeah, he's just being bitchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and he's not unjustified, but, you know, sometimes you just say things. I like, suppose Raymond, the way... So, Duncan is a guy who tries to get reactions, and he's been like we we talked to him a lot. He's tried to get reactions, and Raymond is just not reacting. He's no selling everything. Like he agrees with Duncan, he like you know just sort of stutters and loses focus. Yeah. Duncan isn't getting anything. Has terrible so dreams. He's not getting anything off, and it's uh, he just he's not dealing with it well. Yeah, Duncan is is reasonable for him to be mad, but he yeah. can't express himself well apart from by trying to poke people. He's not articulate. He's not particularly smart. He doesn't know how to. I don't think he's even particularly dumb. He's just. He's a cop. No, he's not stupid. <laughs> he's a cop. No. Um, and, you know. <laughs> and he's, he does sometimes have a point that, yeah, Raymond obviously did hide a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, he. Yeah. Secrets. No okay. lies told. Except by Raymond. I kind of don't want to poke at him, though. Like, I... I don't know. I, 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 it's either one or three. It's not two. Yeah, I think three is perhaps not a very good out-of-character option. Like, it might not get us much in the game. But I think it's the Danny Flash thing to say. It's just like, I don't want to deal with this thing. We've had plenty of successes not dealing with problems. <laughs> yeah. It's still not clear how we're going to get past the concrete sarcophagus the machine is inside. Edgewood. Alright, now we've crossed into who are you making this speech for, buddy? Because <laughs> this guy is checked out. Like, he's gone. Like, your dad... Like, the dad you remember is gone. Like, you're making yeah. a speech to most of a corpse. Yes, he probably, I mean, he did care about trying to fix things, as Duncan is kind of insinuating, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but then he got yeah, tortured for those three weeks, basically. Yeah. And, uh, I had, had, like, most, 60%, he got mind fucked. Like, there was an attempt to destroy his mind. Yeah, and that's right. The, the didn't guy didn't stop it. We interrupted it. The guy Duncan wants to get mad at only sort of still exists. Um, however, um, we can do things. We, the people yeah. who have not been kidnapped by Josephine and so on, and who have, in fact, frankly, become incredibly powerful over the last few weeks. Like, we just become so strong so quickly that we're, we're so cool. We can totally win this. Stop being pessimistic, Gunshow. What's a demon goddess? We've dealt with... Well, okay, I... Uh, we beat a vampire, you know. A demon goddess is maybe worse than that, but not too much worse, right? All right. The vampire had imposter syndrome, though. I don't think we're gonna get this lucky with this one. <laughs> she also had a whole bunch of minions and stuff, and money. How much money did the Armor Kings have? Probably not very much. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So, okay, so uh, more money equals better, then. They're, they're broke. What can they do? So, well, so Duncan ju just wanted to gun show boat here. He's not yeah. you know, backing out or anything. He wanted to point out that, in fact, he's going to heroically self-sacrifice. Um, okay, fine. Although Raymond could point out that he did actually come here and also effectively sacrifice himself and try and help as well. Yeah. I think he's about to do that. He ran into the plastic yep, there it man. Mm. Alright, finally. At least we're getting some sparks. Alright, Duncan! Hmm... He vacillates, this... Duncan, between only what happened to me matters and only what happened to everyone but me matters. He's not persuasive, even if he's right. I mean, that's the art of rhetoric, isn't it? Yeah. 
the results are what counts. Yeah, but look at the results in Kowloon Walled City. I don't know if you want to go down that road, right? <laughs> the results, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. Raymond really left himself open there. I do not want to pick that option four thing. Like Option four is awesome for the single reason that it is a Raymond Black response. Remember the thing we learned about yeah, him? Yeah, I, I know. That's Oops. why I don't want to pick it, because it's like yeah. leaning into that. I was like... I don't know if the game... Like, I, the game probably knows that, but I don't think it's going to respond with like the like the uh, Edward going, oh shit, like you'd hope. He no, I, th I think it is, and that's why I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> like, I don't want to... I, don't I mean, I don't really like the... one through three, like those, like, two mm, is stupid. I don't like two and three either. One or four like, of my own preferences. Well, yeah, two and three One just, just doesn't sound like Danny Flash. Uh, yeah. Like, that sounds like I took the soldier It's hard class, to disagree. I took lawful good as my, as my alignment. Yeah, okay, I'm That's... persuaded. Yep, yep. We can, we can do the... I'll use your words against you thing because there's no better option. See, yes. the game absolutely reacts. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> wow, I guess that was the password to psychology. Look, if you got if you have the chance to use something you learned from crawling through a dialogue tree hours early in the game you do it. <laughs> I that that sounds to me like how a writer would think about it uh, we are in the realm of the writers non-coincidentally <laughs> uh, the rift the circulator the prosperity at least nobody's actually saying prosperity anymore right like we've passed through the point of the game where you say prosperity at increasing frequency and just yeah. again and again you know, at least I never like went with bold text or italics or underlines. Yeah, was, they, they, they just kept us, it the proper nouns. Showed us pictures with the word prosperity written on the sign or anything. More Yama Kings. I don't want more more Yama Kings. No. Okay. But who would do this? Well, presumably, I suppose the the, the queen with a thousand teeth would do this. Hmm. All right. Sounds like we're rolling out. Yeah, we're, we're all agreed, I suppose, that we should save the world. This is an optional conversation. Like, we yeah. could have just gone to um, the Triad Soldier there. Who is the yeah, quest. or we could have not had the conversations that led up to it. Yeah, the game is rewarding exploring its characters and themes with giving you more of those things you presumably liked. Alright. Well, uh, we're ready to do this thing. To, to go. Ready for it to be on ready to walk the endless corridors and uh, talk to the queen of a thousand uh, teeth? Saves, teeth I think as long as the corridors aren't literally endless yes uh, otherwise we'll never get to talk to the uh, queen. I don't I don't think that the center could handle that yeah. I think that the corridor will be a very sufficient and tidy link also you might notice we've got some themes colliding here like the two villain figures who we haven't seen in the game yet Josephine Sang the queen with a thousand teeth who are not totally dissimilar to each other, both probably waiting for us in there one way or another. Also, kindly Cheng. Uh, we haven't seen her since we got back from Prosperity Tower. We've still got this business archive, the thing kindly wants on Sang, so... Maybe I... Alright, I, I am loath because we made the episode break, but we should probably go check the Mishan parlor, see if we can hand it off to her. No, we did check it. It's, it's, uh, I'll oh, show you, did? because so that uh, our viewers can see also, but um, there's no way to go inside. Kindly okay. Cheng is not here. I'm guessing that for some reason she's in the Ward City. I have no idea why the hell she would go there right now. Apart from possibly revenge or something, but yeah, that's it. no Mahjong available. That's interesting. Um, and weird, because like even if she is in the Ward City, like, how is would we know that? Help her there? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, but I, I'm sure we'll find out. So, it's Triad Guard, who we've encountered a number of times in the past. He's told us to fuck off repeatedly. Yep. But today, we actually have a reason to speak to him. Five people, all reeking of Triad. Okay, there's actually five guards all represented five by the one. Five is an auspicious number. 
yeah <laughs> we could use some actually no we need as little auspiciousness as possible right now there's too much key oh around. yeah it does get stolen right okay I, I enjoy that the game is acknowledging this it's the man who's been guarding the walls to the entrance since we arrived in Hawaii. <laughs> this game does some good stuff it does what do you think about Lamplighters League? I was going to suggest off mic that it might be our next game. It's not impossible. Mrs. Ching sends her regards. Okay, she told us to keep an eye out for you. Uh, yeah, she she will she can wait. Oh wow! Oh, I was mm. gonna say you're too young for this, but you're an elf, so you might be I mean, sixty. Look, this guy is, he's, you know, he's a violent criminal um, who makes yeah, good mean, money. Fair. He, he can handle it. I don't know okay. if he makes good money. I'm not sure. No, he probably doesn't. He probably gets, like, money. shit money. He's just barely able to eke out a living in this slightly better than a slum we all live in. And he looks about 19. Um, but, yeah, someone's got to save the world. And uh, I, I, First option seems right. Better chance of staying alive. I actually... Yeah, actually. That is probably true. We can take care of ourselves with no? yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Alright. I mean, I just got surgery, man. I got yeah. surgery for this shit. Yeah. You're not gonna hard ass me about being committed to the bit. Also, only like two of the six of us are Westerners. Like, Govet and Aziribel are Chinese. Um, uh, Raktor is Russian. Japanese. Gaichu is Japanese. Alright, yeah. uh, Gaichu is probably. I mean. Also, hang on. probably still don't like the Japanese in 2063. Also, China. I should point out that bo that um, Duncan literally identifies as Chinese. I mean, he's yeah, ethnically Chinese. Well, when can, yeah, he, he's, he is. From, I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's from Seattle. He identifies he? as Chinese in arguments with his father. That's right, yeah. That's right. He's, he's, he's yeah, Chinese-American. I mean, um, <laughs> previously there was a lot of talk about how he, how he was a Seattle cop. Through, through. And he acts exactly like an American police officer. So, whatever. I oh, know he has uh, empathy. I mean, I I don't want to be too rude to Duncan. He is no, no, no. he is a Not too he has broken the, the, the top percentile of actual cops, uh, which <laughs> fiction allows you to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, compared to real ones for sure. Um, wave of something emanating from within. Okay. Oh, it's, <laughs> I it's, hope it's not that kind of wave. <laughs> it's uh, perhaps it's the key being sucked out of everyone. Madness and folly squeak their disapproval. Hey, it's the rats. Yeah, but you always feel like that, Isabel. <laughs> you don't have to say that to her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it in character. That's the toxic key. Alright, Raymond is going to kill himself to fix this. Um, he awesome. may literally throw himself in the gears of the shame. You know, I really f uh, feel like it would have been useful if there'd been the ability for Raymond and uh, Crafty to talk to each other. Like, they could probably have exchanged notes quite usefully. It has, It is kind of annoying that she has stopped being part of this plot. Just, just um, provided a lot of backstory, basically, that it was optional, as it turns out. It seemed like it would be more directly connected. So, Raymond stares at the Wall City, taking it in for the first time. That isn't true. Come on, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, maybe the first time... No, it's not even the first time taking it as Raymond. Like, he was yeah. down the street when he got shot out. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well, whatever. I it's guess the first version of this not version of Raymond taking yeah. it in. Located at the heart of the walled city. Okay, so we were on an escort mission, basically. A uh, big one. Marker in the center of an entrance PDA. Weave our way through the city to the machine. Cool. Third um, option, or maybe second. We are, I mean, since he's unwilling or unable to communicate what the hell we have to do to the machine, we do actually need to protect him, and like, it's, you know, it's a, there's maybe some sentimental reasons also for this. We may, can we tell the, oh yeah, that's also true. We might just put the triad guys in fucking, like, position around him. Like, just yeah. don't stand in front of him and anything else. Duncan suggests splitting up, which doesn't seem like... Ah, right, I've been wondering how the game would deal with the fact that you can have three people in a party and there's six party members. Or is it? Or will it, I mean? I mean, we can, have, you can have four, right? Like, it's you and three others, right? I like how 
Uh, one thing I like here is how Gobbit, the self-proclaimed veteran Shadowrunner, is effectively signaling we're on a run now by calling him yeah. Gunshow instead of Duncan. Danny Flash leads some of us to clear the way to the machine. Aha, uh -huh, that's what's going to fill the rest of our party. Auntie's men. Right. That's good thing going. Hmm. Okay, well, I agree that, that Danny Flash should lead some to clear the rest of the way to the machine because he's he's the best guy here at clearing people, basically. Okay, clear their heads from their bodies with the uh, several swords. Um, I mean, this is basically the plan I outlined, so I am mm -hmm. in favor of it. Yep. Um, we don't need to argue with this, I think. Yeah. Use your com to stay in touch. Yes. I, I think our team... All right, let's see what team this really looks like. Hmm. I um, think it's a terrible two-deck. That's what I think it is. You think it's what? I think it is a third option. I agree. Yes, I don't like the others so much. The time for timidity is over. Ah, he's there's just, always time for timidity. He's talking the only way he knows how. <laughs> this is the end of prosperity. It's back. All right, let's click the tires Yay. and hit the fires. In the pipe, five by five. All right, so our end game party, Gobbit. Yes, Gobbit and who else? I think it's Guy and Ractor. I think that's our kill team. That seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Like Duncan um, stays with Dad, Isabel stays with um, with Raymond in case he needs decking help because he will be the one jacking into the yeah, machine. Yeah, anyway. I feel like. Yeah, Isabel would have useful insights on Kowloon, but also she's not as good in a fight as everybody else as everybody else anymore. And we're gonna have fights against whom or what I don't actually know, but there's gonna be some. Possibly security people from Tsang. Like they may have sent people to stop us. Gaichu and Rector. I take Gaichu in the forlorn hope that somebody ambushes him. I don't think that's gonna happen, but it'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean. I it's not going to happen, but Gaichu is also just the best choice. Right? He's pretty strong. Um, I mean, Duncan's not weak, but yeah, Gaichu's strong. And Raptor, I mean, of yeah, course, it's, is cool it's and doesn't Gaichu, give a fuck like, about anything. Raptor is coming. Gobbit is coming. The choice is between Gaichu and Duncan. It's and leaving Duncan with Raymond is the right thing to do. Yeah. Especially okay. because if this, if this switches to... Hmm. Yeah, if this switches to, oh, now you have to play Duncan is Zero Bell... And the bad luck boys. Duncan is. You'd want Gaichu with them at that point. <laughs> I don't think the game will pull that on us though, because the structure of it doesn't really fit properly. Yeah. Basically, the I mean, swap... if it's going to pull it on us, this is where it's going to pull it. Yeah. The um, only swap I would potentially make is um, Gaichu. But the thing is that no, but... Duncan is still a better defender. Like, if the if the objective is to defend Raymond. Duncan mm -hmm. is still better at holding a line than Gaichu is. Gaichu has to run no, out. He can stun people from range and stuff. Yeah. Back to the walled city. I mean, we've been there before. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, it was literally the first mission of the game. Oh, the city of death. The typhoon pours down as the triad soldiers fan out in front of you, leading the way into Kowloon walled city. Raymond shuffles along, alert and intent Exhausted, driving himself forward, unwilling to accept help. Wu watches the windows. The fact that we called Daniel Daniel Wu um, creates some confusion a number of times. Because sometimes Raymond actually says Mr. Wu and is referring to Danny Flash. Yep. Like in his dialogue. And then, but sometimes he says Wu and means Duncan. <laughs> the game didn't expect us to do that for some reason, even though it told Which us. Which is very stupid. Brothers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. We didn't realize at the time that they'd been, you know, adopted together off the streets um, rather than actually being biological siblings. Walled yeah, like it was... is perfect through the the magic of Shadowrun. It is actually perfectly fine the idea that a an orc, a Chinese American Duncan, is is siblings, blood siblings with whoever the fuck you're playing. Yeah, it would make sense. Uh, okay. Uh, right, do we have any... Oh, of course we have gear to hand out. Yes, medkits. And grenades, or a medkit. Um, to whom? Got it. Yes. 
for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Gobbert the option of extra healing. You're right. And grenades, one each, Gaitu and Raptor? Or one for. Good. Raptor needs the better one because he occasionally doesn't have anything better to do. Um, see if you can give Gobbit the better submachine gun. I think the oh, wild yes. one is just a flat upgrade over her. Thing. It absolutely slightly is. Yep. Uh, the Sandblaster. Hmm. Throw that on Gobbit as well. That'll wreck to... I mean... I, I, Gobbit may end... If we're in real bad times, Gobbit may end up in a situation where... She doesn't want to use the AOE of the wild one. Um, her regular gun sucks ass. Sandblast also shotgun. has also has AOE. It's a shotgun. Well then, <laughs> I think I'll actually give this to Rector, but give Gobert the extra grenade. Um, yeah, because for guy for Rector, it is an upgrade on his pistol. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, and. <laughs> Do you think I should give anyone the basic blaster? <laughs> yeah, give it the Gaicho. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean we'll use it, you know? I'm not saying we're going to blast anyone, basically, but the game has for some reason put this item in her inventory, and uh, I have merely moved it between slots. Auto save. What are we going to see in Kowloon Ward City? Maybe it's just a bad storm and we just have to walk to the machine. Nope. Nope. What we're actually seeing is uh, an atmosphere that's humid with the oppressive weight of despair. Okay. Yeah, that happens. That first mission was called Bad Key, wasn't it? I guess this one it's is close. very bad key. Uh, it's. I think it's actually City of Death. Yes, it is City of Death. But the phrase Toxic Key has been used repeatedly. Yeah. Really hey, hope that researcher got out. <laughs> hey, look, Raymond's recovered from his... Um, Bloody nose, yeah. Yeah, collapsed state. Someone gave him a handkerchief to wipe it off. Trash heap. Mm -hmm. All that we wanted was to help. See, I don't believe don't that believe about I Josephine. I think all that you wanted was to help. Yeah, that's right. I, I am willing to believe that Raymond thought that this would be a, a nice project that would give people somewhere to live and help them rise out of poverty and stuff, and that his magic machine would provide an edge to, in this process. But... What Josephine Sang was doing was building everything as fucking cheaply as possible, siphoning off all the money, and then using a bit of that siphoned off cash to fund Raymond's magic machine to steal all of their luck. Yeah, Lotus. Just... Ah, he's hopped up. I mean, Sang Mechanical right, Services. Yeah. yeah, I guess he thought that the company was like. A cool thing to work for and to be a cool vice president of in the past. You do tell yourself that when you go to work for your mom's company as the vice president. Ah, but that he's is no longer telling himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel has, uh, yes, obviously been thinking negative things about the role of the Sangs in this affair. And we did make sure to give her back all her bad memories of growing up, yeah? Yeah. Well. Alright, clear a path to the sarcophagus. Yep. Yeah. I... Yep, yeah, that's yes, the plan. Will do. Objective added, reach the objective building? That's not its name, is it? Okay. I think it's being some... slightly coy about where we're going. Yep, so Duncan and Isabel will be the B team. So we're Let's heading see, uh... for a hatch mm -hmm. in a in a wall somewhere. Labeled Possibly prosperity. above some kind of hallway. Or at the end of one. Alright. Let's get real. Uh, okay, let's get it done. Fair enough. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Got it. Best of the luck that is available. She can absolutely believe it. Didn't we already save some from a evil demon god? Yeah, it was, just yeah. It was a floating one, one last time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the sort of thing is what Gobbit lives for, sort of. Not entirely willingly, but I think it's, the whole thing is less surprising to her than the rest of us. 
Stop right there. Hello. All right, let's stop right here.